It was a search for Sean Deaton that led police to the village apartments in Lawrenceburg, Indiana. I pulled in and I saw a lot of police. Deaton has a criminal history of burglary. The fellow that was supposed to be in there was armed and dangerous. Convinced he was inside apartment 407G, the Lawrenceburg SWAT team surrounded the building. They looked like they were ready to go to war. Police spent hours ordering Deaton to surrender. When that didn't work, they responded with high-powered CS tear gas and forced entry. I heard the shots and then I saw the smoke. It looked like my apartment was on fire, the, the, the smoke that was just blowing out of my, my, my windows. When the smoke cleared out, reality set in. The suspect wasn't inside this apartment. In fact, the person who lives here didn't even know the suspect. And this home was left looking like a war zone. I mean, the glass is, is everywhere. There is a burn in the carpet. My bedroom has been, like, destroyed. Kayla Irwin is a single mother of two and now unable to live in her apartment. The glass is shot out all the way onto my bed. They dumped every basket of laundry that I had stacked in my closet. Most, most of it was clean. You can see where this paper was, the difference between this, where the dust has settled. It's all covered in poison. I mean, how do you start with replacing the items that your kids have had since the day they were born? Kayla's pets were inside the house during the raid. One of her guinea pigs died. And I've cried for a week now, and it's just... It's too much. It's really too much. Next door neighbor Emmanuel Bridewell had been home from Iraq for just two days when police raided the apartment. He clears landmines for a living, but says he's never seen anything quite like this. Overpowered. In my opinion, it looked like they were enjoying what they were doing. They did not need to do all this. Everything I own is in there. With everything contaminated, Kayla says she appealed to Lawrenceburg police, but says she's gotten nowhere. They basically just said, you know, sorry for the inconvenience. Go ahead and clean it up. <laughs> clean up our mess. That was 11 days ago. For the past week and a half, we've had to borrow and acquire everything we have from friends and family. CS gas is high potency tear gas, the same gas used on the Branch Davidian cult compound in Waco, Texas. During our visit, you could feel burning in your eyes, nose, and throat. <coughs> it's it's tearing me up because I just don't know where to start. I really don't know where to start. I can't get any help from anybody that matters, you know? Lawrenceburg's assistant police chief did not want to appear on camera, but told Target 5, this is the first time this has happened. I'm surprised the incident has not been remedied. We will take care of it the best we can. Less than 30 minutes after that conversation, the assistant chief and another officer were at the village apartments talking to Kayla, telling her that they would try to get some money for supplies so she could clean her clothes and furnishings on her own. I just don't understand why the police would do this to someone. You know, a mother with two kids who tries to do all the right things and is just forced to start over. Dave Wagner, Target 5.